that pretty much takes us to the end of the live stream. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff which we're going to be revealing. But now we've got the team on here, we're going to start working on this planet. Uh, there's a little preview of one of my feet, my, my contributions. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So on that basis, I'm going to quickly run through the chat and uh, answer any questions slash read anything out. <coughs> and after that point, I think we're pretty much done here. So <coughs> anybody else in the chat? Is there anything you want, want to cover or we've missed? Anything you want to look at before I shut this down? And I will start reading. Cowberry said, Why make a platform from a Plex store so you can hide it? Cowberry said, I did say from Plex stores. Crovia said, I. Cowberry said, Use Plex stores for the rings. Um, it's a stream delay. Cowberry said, Time them, you can get a legit Stargate ring. So that was quite a while back, about 20 minutes ago. I remember talking about it, but still, very nice idea, can't wait to do that. Uh, moving down, when grids collide, that buffer zone isn't there yet. And I don't know if I should do it. Yeah, It's pretty cool being able to build from one plate all the way around the planet. Ah, yeah, that's something which I didn't try, so there's some inspiration. Uh, New planet makes defense easier. Schema says um, that's Sabak that said that the new planet makes defense easier. Schema says that the, the system just blocks if individual blocks are overlapping. So if you build your bridge high enough, you can build anywhere. Right, I see. So it's designed to just pick the plate you want to build off and let it overlap. Yeah, I think I can see what you're saying there. Question, have we ever covered uh, weather systems and like clouds and such on planets? I've never heard of it. Good question. Because I would love to see rainy days and... We've talked about it. So if you build a bridge, as a player you can't overlap, black, overlap blocks. The overlap is only in the generation. Um, power regen. Those have been addressed. Tamino is planet. <laughs> so press F on a core and press tab F8. You'll get into the core. Yeah, Zero, you, you'll find that we've talked about a lot of stuff. Let me just... Let me just try that. Do, do. Press F on a core. Press... Tab F8. I'm in the core! Yay! Wait a minute. Right. That's. that's hacky. Take that away. Give me that ship. Wait, no, that's not how you do it. You just press Tab F8. Ah! Piracy! In its highest form. Can you do it when someone else is occupying it? Don't know. Uh. Dalmont, are you still here? Yep. Uh, where are you? Uh, teleporting to you now. Okay. Alright, I'm here. Okay, so let me just see if I can find my way out of your ship. Where's the door? Oh, okay, it's admins only. Admin only, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's good, though. That's good, though. That's exactly what you want. So where are you now? I am by your helicopter. By my helicopter? What, are you on the planet, are you? Yep. Oh, wow. You're Do you want me to fly to you? Side. No, 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 no. No, not at all. Uh, tab F8. Aha! I'm in the chopper. There we go. Whoa! Okay, fell out of the chopper onto the planet. Coming back. There we go. Whoa. Yeah. That's a fun command. Yeah, that is a fun command. So we needed to find out if I can get into the ship that you're currently in using it just to see for testing. Well, I for am science. in a core. That's oh, all I right. wasn't in the chopper. Uh, that's all right. That's all right. I'll try and get into your core. Nope. It says that you're already in control by... That's interesting it gives that particular error, actually. 
so I can get in it now though. So it's tab F8. I actually like that a lot. I appreciate that it's an, an admin only thing, but it's useful for people that are building in single player and saves a lot of time. Definitely. Is this in the current release or is this dev only? Good question. He's like, didn't I tell you about that? <coughs> yeah. Oh. I know. Sometimes I want to get a list as well, you know? I tried to tap F8 in the current build and it works. Right, beautiful. So, what else have we got? Love those commands. That's been in the release for a year. OMG. Why? I need a list, bro. <laughs> That's really funny. There's all this stuff that we just, you know, I love it. I love that, though. Yeah, he's like, oh, well, don't need the hijack command. Yeah, it's been in the game for a year. <laughs> and we all thought it was a great idea. It's like, Schema already did it. <laughs> I love it. It's brilliant. So, what are the conditions for growing Y-holes? Um, I think you need lava or something. I, I don't know. I, 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 it gets a bit... Most of it's propaganda. I wouldn't believe half of the stuff that people tell you about it, you know. It's definitely not good for you, though. Calberry has provided us the official verdict on that. Oh, really? Yep. Chlorine atmosphere and uh, water with battery acid. Oh, And I'm then ideally that. on a thick bed of arsenic grains for the root system. Ah. I absolutely agree. And I'm going to totally put that into more propaganda. I like it. <laughs> Calberry, how about, uh, how about ice grass? Oh, Growing and... Conditions? And also, I keep it crashing... It grows on ice. I keep crashing my client with Isn't that one obvious? So maybe I've done something silly. I would love to see a farming system in StarMade. I'm building like, a farm right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, a legit... Like, we set can up, call it Star Crossing. Set up crossing. a home base, and, you're, you know, like, in Minecraft, you have to set up your uh, crops to first food supply, you know? Yeah. You know, that you get people to have a reason to have a home base. Let's just pretend that they actually grow. No, Cal, I actually like that idea, and especially since we're going to have procedurally generated animals, we just need to give them uh, cute eyes and outfits and make them write us letters. It'll be perfect. <laughs> Ooh, Schema says, farms are planned. You don't nice. really think we stuck in planets without thinking about farming. <laughs> I, I honestly think that when we do the farming, that Y holes need to be poisonous and give us some sort of psychotropic effect. <laughs> Don't touch them. In yeah, keeping with meta. Zero sends idea that if you took it would invert your flight control so that you could see who was under the influence and not. Ooh. Turn that music off. I'm just saying, Y holes are drugs. Oh yeah. Craft <laughs> your own drugs, lol. <laughs> you drug. Oh no, a modular drug system. You thought white holes were bad. Well, guess what? <laughs> How about we call them boosters? And <laughs> boosters. they can actually help. Uh, we've, we've talked about that too. We've talked about lots of stuff. I would be surprised if you guys throw out an idea we haven't gone over. Hey, you never know. I Space exactly toilets. try. Um, How inappropriate am I allowed to suggest things? Just once. PG. <laughs> Well, I it took for now. just once, too. <sighs> but, Indeed. Uh, you gave me a challenge to come up with something you had no Pump some with. cactus into your veins, <laughs> Schema says. That so. sounds painful. Yeah, that, that's... ouch. That sounds metal. <laughs> yeah. There's metal. It's one step, it's one step metal. above meta. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I, I told you cactuses were expensive. Yeah, it's true. Right, here we go, Cal. I think I have an idea. Super strength. Instruments. We we can have little we can have little pixelated trumpets and pianos Tom, and make a band. Did, Tom, it? Back me up here. Wasn't it? Hey. Wasn't I just talking about this yesterday? Yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. Bacteria. <laughs> I think we were talking about some kind of crazy synth block or something, wasn't it? Why? Are you guys going over diseases I don't know. yet? I'm not sure. Yeah. But come on, guys, cactus. Apparently we need to ban cactus now. This is bad. This is bad. The Imperium must be called. Aliens that build their own ships. 
Oh, hey. What won't get banned by the end of this? Well, we've got reports from the creator here. Uh, it says that, you know, there's people trying to inject cactus, so we're going to have to ban it for the safety of the populace. Uh, the, I, th I think cactus needs to be more like, uh, like caffeine. You're reading the chat, right? Isn't that what Piotis <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe Let's I'm do just what completely it's... ignorant, right. but isn't peyote a cactus? Ooh, it is. None. So basically, uh, the instrument item wouldn't be hard to do, Schema says. So that'd be amazing. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to tell him about the uh, the other stuff for the, the music other stuff. and sounds. Ah, right. Cool, 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 cool. Because He's a busy guy. Yeah, he doesn't have time for all stuff. my ideas in one day. So much stuff. Yeah. Well, I won't go touching on that then, but... Oh, I, well, I'll throw it up here right now. If he's here, he's listening, might as well. Um, yeah. Schema, what do you think about a, uh, um, let's just call it a music block, or a synth block. I guess Tomino had a better word for it. A synth block, right? And you can select any, like there's a guitar synth block, or a drum synth block, and then because we have, um, you can set the eight notes, Oh, wow. Is that, is that how many eight notes? And um, what was it with the flats? 14? Something like that. I think that. we can fit... Can, can we fit the data for 14 different sounds on that? No problem on music blocks, you said. Awesome. So so we can make one block per instrument. So you could set up an orchestra. You know, just how many instruments types do you have uploaded on the server? So it'd just be like music blocks then? Well better than that because um music blocks is like i'm gonna get me space it, back just tones. yeah like we could add in an actual sound from an instrument it says right? it will be limited options but you've seen what oh, people so. do you've seen what people do in other games with a limited option set yeah right i'm, I'm just <laughs> throwing this out here space travel about with the drugs yeah i did see him yeah <laughs> i like he, it he, he's Whoa. gonna have me set up a combination system for it now i'm sure Nice. You gotta love that. That you'd have a, the music blocks, a the drugs, all a and, Y hole uh, and mushroom a, combination. A y hole based patch. Drug <laughs> combination system. Wow. We'd have to have a light that uh, <laughs> would not only strobe but change colors too. A black light. Yeah, you'll be. Um, there's there's a lot of stuff on this. Um, he, he's saying there's options, so. Uh, the, the biggest issue we have to deal with is um, network transfer. Like, you don't want to be transferring lots of data on songs back and forth. So, ideally, it would be stuff built in well, um, or server specific, like a texture well, pack. For, for example, okay, right? Because Duke Nukem 3D had MIDI files, and you could just drop them in, and the game would use them. You know what I mean? And I appreciate that... That's only on your end, though, right? Well, yeah, because anyone can use a MIDI synth. You know what I mean? But obviously well, that was well, ten years ago, maybe more. But, yeah. but like, maybe now it'd be more like you're able to load in... There are shareable instruments that you can use in sequencing, aren't there? Well, imagine... Just look at it this way. You can yeah. put in an instrument block, right? It's got all the notes in it. Yeah. You can program in Lua, right? Yeah. Hook so up the Lua done. code to yeah. the instrument block. Yeah. You share a Lua file, and it's done. Exactly. I don't know what's possible. I don't. I don't code. I don't know the the built-in limitations, but it does sound interesting. I, I've ju I've just learned to just trust Schema because he could do some crazy cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Block would put out a tone uh, which, which wouldn't, wouldn't strain, strain the on the server. Nice. However, the different tones have to be on the client already. That's perfect, though, because if you think about it, then people will start sharing all these tone packs. You know? Because I was thinking people could use it, like, for example, you could make a themed tone pack that would enhance the sound quality on ships, like door opening noises with discount sound effects. You know, and then all kinds of different things could be done like that if it was modular in that way you know hey, it, conveniently the enough there's a whole audio or a, a library in yeah. your star made folder like just go in there and start grabbing sounds and throwing them together to well, make exactly, your tones exactly you could do that like 
I think it's beautiful because there's a lot of people that build a lot of themed stuff and if you do that playing actual sound files would be harder but possible same concept but even if it was an 8-bit representation of the noise it's supposed to make I'm sure it would be fine I don't know yeah, how many... I'm a fan of bit tunes so I'm okay with 8-bit hmm because that's kind of funky you know that's what we're looking for like when you think about the actual sound that like a Star Trek community make, communicator makes or that the door makes maybe not the door because it wishes doesn't it but just computer noises and stuff random beeps and things and you can do all of that with a very limited tone set you know what I mean it doesn't have to sound exactly like the sample it just has to sort of go beep boom you know what I mean and if you could figure that out with a bit of logic or lure you're laughing it, wouldn't it just be an audio file uh, well no because it might lag like I say yeah. oh god yeah he said he said the concept he said here possible same concept uh, right reading it out he said playing the actual sound files will be much harder possible but same concept single tones would be no problem um, the lag might screw with things though as the timing is defined by it. Right, so right. would it, a single block hold a single tone, or would one block hold like? Well, we'll have to wait. Them? We'll have to wait and see. But I think he's saying that you'd have one block. But I think that that's sort of like an implementation thing, isn't it? That there's finer details with all these ideas. But the fact that he says yes, I'm interested and able. It's just it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant. I'll wait, you know what I mean? Just wait until there's something for us to look at, slash here. Because some of those sound effects that are already in the sounds directory are really nice, but I don't know if they're actually going to get you. Are they going to get used, any of those, or are they just already there? I think this has already been asked before. I can't remember the answer, though. And he's saying that, yeah, you basically connect a tone block to an activation block, and if it gets activated, you get the tone. Yeah, the only time I've noticed the red, the um, lights going, it, it, like freezing, was when it does auto save. Because obviously the game does freeze for about a second or two when it auto saves. But other than that, I haven't really noticed that much. I'm guessing that once we get this onto a big server, maybe you'll notice that a little bit more. But I think that's to be expected, to be honest. Um, he said they're going to get used. Uh, the sound files yeah, that the are in the, uh, the audio yeah. library. You can, I can tell you use Explosion 1 for the current Explosion, yeah. I just need someone that can get me a map of what sound to use for what. Oh, okay. I could, I could rag a list up for something like that. Because I remember going through it and going, Oh, this would be awesome for this, and... Because there's this one, right, which is great. It's like a creaking noise. And I thought that maybe, um, you know how the, 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 the sound that's in the core, when you get out the core and you're near the core, it kind of gets louder, that particular sound. I was thinking there should be like a random sound when you're not near the core of the ship creaking. Because <laughs> you've already got the sound for it. We can also, um, I don't know, I'm asking, can Any we combine the sounds? Beautiful. Any, we can, he can use any sound for anything. Yeah, in that he he, uh, he bought the rights to use the sounds in that directory. Right, I'll get so I'll get a list th together for you guys because that's like if it's just you know, and then you could look at it and decide whether I'm crazy. <laughs> There's already proximity or proximity gradients for sound. Nice. Um, I don't know if shops are still using sound, but it used to be you know if you got close enough you would hear that loud mechanical sound. Yeah. Well, like, for example, with... Um, I believe that's still up. With, I with, just had sound turn off, so I don't know. For example, with the... Um, oh, I was going to say something about something. Pause. I just saw Dalmont, a wild Dalmont appeared. <laughs> Delay blocks might be thrown out of sync, that's the issue. Uh, you can use anything. Uh, that'd be awesome. And proximity is done. I think I'm missing. Achievement and level up sounds. Might scale a little weird. 
Uh, so they're talking about options and things. Right. Well, basically, um, it's been a fun stream, but time for me to go to bed. So thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, please do come back again soon. Special thanks to uh, Calberry and Schema uh, and everybody else involved in putting it together. And like I say, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you all next Love time. Love the game, Schema. Love the game. As you can guess. Love it. And I'm sorry to cut this off if you're in the middle. Please be stay welcome. You know, people will still be here, I guess, in the chat. But right. Thanks again. See you next time.